part 8. The hammer and the trigger and a little bit about the stock. This I have that. worked it over a year ago just quick 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 to get it from a very very hard rough trigger down to something manageable. Now if I do like this Ah, oh, the rope isn't long enough, isn't it? That this is in foot pounds, LB and OS. And I will drag it. Approximately four and a half foot okay. pounds. Okay, what is a trigger? What does it do? No. Trigger is, is it possible for you to come over on this side? This is not the Marlin trigger, but it's a trigger. If this is a trigger, goes like this. A trigger with a hammer. Can be all kinds of things, but this is a trigger with a hammer. Trigger is down here, we have a sear here, we have the hammer here, can be cocked back. Um, this one, if you can adjust uh, the spring force, the force required to let the trigger work uh, easily, you can adjust that on a lot of the precision of the market triggers for Remington 700s, Old Mousers, things like this. Uh, on the Marlin, I don't know if you see this, but there is this part of the spring sets your uh, your uh, uh, tension on this part how hard it is to pull the trigger and let the sear move and uh, we are going to come back to this one um, and you have something called over travel uh, over travel is when the sear comes to the point when it let the hammer go um, how far can you push the trigger after the hammer falls? The backlash you can adjust. Uh, and then you have the sear engagement. That means how far into, let's say, the trigger will the sear rest. So you can adjust it inward, outward, so this part rests here. Uh, and then you have just a little walking with the trigger and it snaps over. It's very dangerous to rest this tip here and it's a good thing to have a sharp edge here it's a good thing to have a sharp edge here that's the glass breaking feeling when it suddenly let go uh, there is another thing these two surfaces has to be in relation to each other um, when we are talking about positive and negative let's say the positive thing is when you are pulling the trigger backwards this moves forward there is no there is no hammer um, let's see if we can do that you see it moves forward comes like this goes forward this if these two pieces is not in relation to each other it can cock the hammer back while you are pressing the sear forward before let go it's good to have a little little positive so it cocks a little back but you get the spring force on the hammer will act down here so it will be harder to pull the trigger if it's negative so the hammer and the spring acts here to pull it away from you when you are making trying to make the shot you will get a mushroom type of feeling uh, so the best is to be zero degrees and balance it balance it so it doesn't come back doesn't roll over to be sure it came a little back it doesn't seem I tried when I stoned it last time to remove some of the camming and it doesn't come a lot back we are going to work on it. That's that's basically what triggers is all about. Pull it and shoot something. Hopefully dead or get the bullseye on the piece of paper.
Um, if you are going to point on, some, on something that's living uh, before you point, make sure you want to make the shot. Whatever it is. Don't hesitate. Think it over before you try to shoot something. Uh, this modeling thing, I will mount the hammer and things like that. When we tried the trigger pull, that was with a completely dry gun. There is no lube whatsoever. It's dry like an old woman, you know. It's actually completely dry. Uh, this is the trigger. This is the sear. The floppy feeling you feel is if I block this one, it can uh, it can uh, go like this. Um, we are going to talk about that. Um, when I pull my trigger, the sear goes forward, let the hammer down, and the tension. I don't know, it's very hard to see, but this, you have to come this way, my friend. This part of the spring sets the tension. Look here. This curved edge rests down at the sear, so you get some tension on your finger, and that's, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing, because this is climbing up here, Hammer is resting here, so you will get a lighter trigger when you bend the spring, because this is your, this is your, um, this is your uh, spring tension on your trigger, um, in conjunction with the main spring. Um, so you can see if we have enough light. This was blued. That is almost no bluing here. It is shiny meaning we have almost full contact between the trigger and the sear. Um, you can see the little lines here, that's what, that's the thing I can feel when, uh, when I'm trying to, to, uh, to make my shot. If we look into here, this is the full, full cock notch. If we are lucky, you can see it's shiny, it's more shiny here than here, but all the bluing is gone meaning we have full contact. Um, another thing is there is a sloppy fit here in the hammer. It's, it's, uh, it's very sloppy um, so the hammer can walk this way. There is also slop here sideways the pin the hole everything is large um, good thing is to have a tight tolerance but from an engineering stand standpoint uh, it's very good with wide tolerances because you don't have to care about the quality controller the control and the uh, and the uh, and everyone will be uh, satisfied uh, it doesn't actually mean anything if it's a little, little, uh, little wiggle, because these two parts will for sure try to line up. Even if they are lined up like this or like this, they line up if these two flats are, are, uh, are straight. Um, so there is something good in it uh, as long as it functions. Just don't worry why it works if it works for you. It's okay, so I have to be social again and uh, we'll come back. Why? This is just a side note. But it's a trigger anyway. Why can we don't make a trigger pull when the latch is down? It has to be closed before I, I'm able to pull my trigger. Uh, let's see what happens. You see this hook? This one comes down here on this side. It's a genius idea, one spring with two purposes. This leg, this side is leg on the spring, sets the tension here and snaps over. This goes up, looks like this, 
Daumen. Hä? Uh, I'm gonna show it with the trigger mounted here. But another thing um, about the trigger. Um, this, I don't know if you can see it clearly, I have to use my left hand. This is the full cock notch. When I pull my hammer, it falls. This is the half cock notch, a safety notch. Um, but on my trigger, you can see a little, a little notch here. That is not here by design. If we highlight it or enlarge it, if we look, yeah, we can do like this. Now, uh, comes like this, half cock notch, and it goes here, and it goes a little notch here. Then it goes back again, full cock notch, where my sear rests. Half cock, safety notch. I can see that it's machined here, it's machined here. It's a little, little angle machined here. This one, and it's machined here, and here, here, and here. This is just casting. This is the casting. I assume that the casting is a little low, so the grinder have moved like this and grind at that edge, that edge, or something like this. It didn't reach down here, or they feel it was not necessary on the grinding there and there. So, this has nothing to say, but I will angle this one a little back here, and I will stone this surface a little bit. Doesn't matter, I will show you. Here, I will for sure stone, because it may matter. Because when you cock the hammer back, the sear will be down here before the hammer goes back into the full cock, before the sear goes back into the full cock notch. Um, and what happens is the sear is rubbing on this cast surface and I can feel it when I have the hammer spring in and just pull and release the trigger here in this area. I can feel it. I don't like to feel it because you can rub here on the sear, but it's the back side. But if it gets a little burst here, out of this, when I've cocked it a couple of thousand times, maybe, maybe not, but anyways, I will remove it. If you remove too much, the tree will go forward. And then you will die. Yeah, it doesn't matter, that one too. You can get your finger in it when you cycle the action, but it's just academical. Um, here, when you release, when you release this one, this piece, this this um, this uh, sear will go here, and the hammer will fall, so it doesn't contact here. Only time it contacts, if if you're going to lower the hammer and rest it in the full cock notch, so I can feel the sear walking here on the rub surface, and I can feel this step, and it goes into half cock position. Um, doesn't matter at all. I don't I don't know if all hammers is like this, so I need feedback on this one. But anyways, I'm going to remove it. And now we are talking about... I'm jumping back and forth. There is my head. I'm very tired. This one that says, can my hammer fall or not? If we do like... Mm, let's see. We can do Come in from this side. Pull it. Screw in. And you can see it can wiggle, everything can wiggle in here, doesn't matter. No, it is in the full cock position. And I can make the shot. It falls, you can see it clears the hammer because I pull it all the way back. Probably it's impossible to just barely have it like this, but it will clear anyway as long as, as it releases here. I hold it in the same position, the hammer will clear. And we can see that I don't pull it all the way back before the hammer comes because it's rubber mar rubbing marks here from this air. So I will stone this surface also. I'm very, I'm very, I like my sear when I've done it. I like it. I don't want to ru ruin it and it won't be ruined anyway. Uh, but you see, when it is in a full cock notch, 
the latch is stone, meaning this piece is stone. And I put force on the trigger on the hammer. I can't pull my trigger. This has to come up and I can pull it. This blocks the sear if the latch is down. Okay, I think we understand it. Um, I say I say that you can't adjust um, the um, you can't adjust the I have to think a little you can't adjust the uh, the creep or or the uh, not the over travel but the creep how far this let me see if I close it how far if you, if you can zoom here with light we can see that the maybe that the sear is all the way into the notch full cock notch in the hammer that's a good thing rests in the end here um, that's a good thing um, let me see we can't adjust the, for the creep we can't adjust here because there is no adjustment screw what we can do we can spot weld it here and file it down the sear will rest here doesn't have to push as much on the trigger pull as much on the trigger to release it that you can do or you can bore yourself a hole in here with a set screw adjust that back and forth and lock tight it in place you can adjust back and forth or you can take a one time solution when everything is done you can file here that meaning if you can zoom here if aggravated you are filing and stoning this away there is not that much length the oh, I'm tired uh, the uh, sear has to go or the trigger before you let off so that's a one-time solution and that's hard to <laughs> it's harder to it's easier to remove metal than add metal some triggers like ARs and military stuff and some other triggers is case hardened when you try to file on them stone them you walk through the case hardening a case hardening is it's the piece of steel is hardened on the outside on the surface so it's wear resistant I don't know if these parts is hardened I when I fool with ARs they are hardened uh, just barely on the case hardened I can weld an AR trigger I can stone it I can smooth it I will have an OM AR trigger <laughs> thank you my friend break like glass without doing any much work uh, a lot of work I weld it and then change the angles and then I heat it and the case harden it again so everything is possible but I assume this is not case hardened otherwise I have to harden it I have to check it after I've done all the work I have a case hardening machine so I can just I can see but okay that's uh, I'm going to stone stone some surfaces and we will see what happens you're a good good boy my friend you're a good boy and I forgot to record <laughs> told you one time solution is to um, file away here so you don't have that much sear engagement or creep uh, because this one doesn't have that much length or you don't have that much pull before you release the hammer if you do that and we talked about the sweeping motion of the hammer and the sear has to clear the hammer let's say here if you file here it has to clear what happens if you file a little away here will the sear when it release follow a path that is tighter to the hammer and hit here then you have to file away here and round it up so it can follow the curve on the hammer I don't know it may be possible because I see rub marks so if you file here make sure with no spring in it just your finger to push the hammer if everything works block the sear 
when you finger the trigger so the sear is blocked that is the point where it will release make sure it doesn't hit the half cock notch but that was just a thought I got right now before I start filing um, I have to, I don't have to but I want to show you something I used my 15 magnifier to look at my hammer I can try to look at the hammer with a little light and we can see if we can have a little shadow coming up here let's see maybe possible okay there we can blacken it okay yeah and no it's hard for me I have to come in with my left hand with a pencil okay where is my tip of my pencil hash strange okay I'm far out okay if this I think you can see it there is the small notch I talked about and you can see the shadow of the ridges and if we are lucky you can see that in the full cock notch there is a little fillet so maybe the sear the tip of the sear is resting on that fillet or the back is resting against the hammer a little further down we don't know I have to look into that but no right now what I'm going to do is to now to look a little there again just tape up this one this and a little bit of tape here so if I file into it um, I can see so I don't ruin these surfaces just try to bevel this a little bit smooth this up a little bit uh, just take the ridges away I may use a file because it's hard to get a stone in here and not touching here here is okay so let's work they're playing cards and have fun in the living room and I'm here all by myself <laughs> it's kind of crazy I'll skip the tape security thing uh, I have filed it and stoned it a little bit you can see but there is a little bluing left here before the full cock notch so it's not that bad the lines is going this way better with lines this way but I'll file in this direction and I started with um, let's see this file here is flat here it's just files on this edge and a little bit on this square file and this a fine diamond uh, easy lap so hope it comes out in the right angle this way I um, think so we're going to look a little bit into that afterwards I'm gonna stone it a little see after the file I used uh, some stones as um, the land skin stones for sharpening knives. How come doesn't I use my gunsmith stones? Uh, it's because then they will last longer. This is cheaper. I bought them on sale, so I have a lot of them. So I can ruin them first. Um, came out good I think even if it doesn't matter to anything filing here but we can see if we go this way you can see the rays let's see you will look down the full cock notch and you will possible see that I haven't stoned the end of the full cock notch where the sear snaps over when you release the hammer you can see a little blue in there it goes down in an angle before hitting the full cock notch so I haven't touched that yet I will go to the underside of the full cock notch that will be approximately here do some stoning then we blew it and fit it with in the get put it again again and see just starting I will try to follow the curve 
it was not easy on this side to follow the curve because I had to be careful here I will follow the curve see what happens okay it smoothed a little bit under the full cock notch up to it but not under it uh, you can see this this part hasn't been touched and you can see a little bit of the notch but it's not much left can take it further down because you can go in with a file in an angle like this it will stop itself if you can hear the sound it will pass over the ridge and it will stop approximately here so it doesn't ruin anything here if um, uh, if I want it today I can stone a little bit here let's see definitely something that is for sure will not try to do any actually any trigger work because I haven't done any trigger work yet until tomorrow because you know when my head is not in the right place meaning tired you take shortcuts and you find out that you have ruined it and what about sleep then better to take it in the morning during daytime here you can see above the half cock notch where that sear may wrap I'll stone it a little bit all the way here you can see it has touched more here and here uh, and I'm not gone as far back as to this point so I will blue it first I will show you from the side a side view what it looked like then I blew it put it back in again 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 or actually doesn't put it back in the gun <laughs> assemble it in the gun again it's the correct word but you know what you know the meaning okay here it is you can see the small notch is rounded and there is looks quite okay I have to do it and try it look at something you see these two holes doesn't line up okay I haven't tightened this yet so there's two screws on the other side and here so don't tighten these two screws before you put this screw in I used to do that have it a little loose line it up hammer in screw down tighten it tighten it and then at the back of the middle one uh, if you tighten that one and that one, you will stress bend this part. Uh, you know, just so it, you know, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, it's like that. Okay, put the screw in. Remember to pull the trigger before the screws go in. Otherwise, if the trigger is here, the sear is here, screw in, nothing works. Okay, I will test for rubbing underneath the full cock notch so a couple of times I will pull the trigger try to make rubbing marks before it goes into the half half, half cock position I can feel I can feel it's much smoother uh, it's a gliding motion it's not that that feeling rubbing rubbing motion I can feel it goes over the notch but it goes over smooth and if you are everything is in the gun except the tube and the spring and the two piece firing pin I don't see no need for it right now but when you do like this when you're testing your trigger uh, I don't like the sound so my famous ice cream ice cream stick you could do different things with it fits down here so if I release my hammer falls on this one not to get hurt you can test your triggers as many times as you want nothing happens isn't that nice 
I don't like hammering and bangering things if it's not necessary unless I'm going to shoot. And then the firing pin takes some of the punch that's supposed to. Okay, I will take it apart and see what's inside and where, where the glue is. Here we are again. Last shot for today. Okay, if you <coughs> excuse me, zoom. A little rubbing underneath. I can see no rubbing here, rubbing here when it hits the mark, but I haven't pushed, put tension on the trigger. If I put tension on the trigger, uh, the sear will rub more. And when I release the hammer, it touched a little bit here. There's not a line all the way like it was before. Probably I stone it a little more if I don't forget it. Uh, because right now, I'm going to bed. Uh, this thing, when you have the spring and the steel plate, uh, you can actually, when you put it in its groove in the gun, you can do a little, you can mount it here, 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 whatever. Doesn't go outside the edges. But if you mount it a little bit off center, you will rub the hammer. Probably it lines itself up, but I try to line it up and see if the hammer goes smooth. So that's right everything. And early, almost breakfast. What can we do today? Can we go out fishing in the river? Yeah, we can. Can we go deep, fish, deep sea fishing? Yes. Can we do some serious things? Uh, maybe. It is holiday, but here. I am my next door neighbor. <laughs> uh, this house was on old square brick and we have restored it <laughs> on the outside at least. So I can do some serious work inside but because there is nothing in there. But will I do that? No, of course. I get tired only to think of it. <laughs> uh, so we will do triggers and see what happens. I can feel on my conscience and when I looked at the hose I thought oh I could have been there working on it. I haven't worked it worked there for a while. And that feeling is you know but why have that feeling I can do anything about it. I can drop these pieces I can go. The morality is if you have a choice, do it. Don't think, oh, I have a bad conscience. Do it or skip it. No, I have to skip it. Uh, another thing if, is if you have eaten it and then regret, then what? Can you, it's gone, can you throw it up? Oh yeah, if it's not long time ago, it comes up. It's the same thing, another form. Uh, people don't like that. So don't throw it up. Uh, another way to say it, if you have friends or relatives, sometimes you say bad things, you hurt other people, you get bad conscience, or, or you feel guilty. Okay, go say I'm sorry if it's your fault. We don't do that that often. We let just think, try to relax things. Why do I talk about all this thing? Uh, it was the hose. Uh, don't bother me. Don't don't bother. Uh, sometimes, when I'm thinking, the filter that stays here is not there. So I think goes out my mouth before I think it over. That's not a good thing. So an old advice is silence is gold. I'm gonna follow it for today maybe. Uh, we are going to look at this trigger again. Uh, I will, uh, I will, uh, just go. Uh, I will, um, I will, uh, stone it. Uh, if you are going to look, um, here to see the relation between the sear and the hammer 
uh, you can put this piece looked from your end up through a light, a bulb or something and you can see the light, it's very effective if you use a cheap like this it's very effective or you can use the old if you are as old as you had this at school the overhead put a piece of paper on project it on the wall if you put your piece there zoom it it will be on the wall bigger yet than you can imagine I have one in the basement I don't bother taking up uh, but there's another thing you can do uh, if you can come around the table my friend If you take a box, <laughs> milk, cock. Yeah. Hole, piece of white thing inside. Paper. Take your little light. Light it. In we go. A lantern. The piece, the white, will lighten everything up. And if you are not sure, wow! <laughs> Use a bigger box. Um, like this maybe and you can light it from this side also okay I don't know if you can zoom here and I can use my one of my hands uh, I don't know if you can if you can see some lights is these two yeah you know probably what kind of pieces we are talking about this one I can see that it is oh it wasn't easy with one hand uh, and I put it like this and it will be the wrong direction for you but I can see with the magnifier what happens when the sear comes down so I can see that the relationship between the surface on the sear and the hammer notch is okay there is a little fillet down here and the tip of the sear is resting there we are going to remove that uh, and see what happens doesn't matter and the reason there was no rubbing marks here and that's another thing that's not important it's because the sear lines up on top of it doesn't rub and it hits the, my small my small notch that I have a um, B weld and goes into the half cock notch and on the underside you can see a shiny spot but actually the hammer is pressed only this far down by the bolt so it doesn't go all the way down here unless you do it by hand uh, so it's like this I'm gonna stone and we're going to to see what it looks like uh, in a little while see ya jeez look at the weather 30th April and it's snowing Okay, I didn't dare to go go in with my triangular file. I did that a year ago before I cleaned it up. Uh, I started with this medium fine uh, Norton stone, oil stone. Then finished off with, with this uh, ceramic stone. It fits nicely in here. This is a 60 degree, so it's 60 degree here. A lot of times the 60 degree are fit in. Actually, I wish myself a stone with a sharp edge that is less than 60 degree. I have one diamond, but it's not pointy at the end. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. I have a stone only full cock notch. Here you can see maybe it's very shiny. And it is very sharp in the corner. There's nothing here now. If I take my fingernail, comes off like this. So I've got myself a small knife. Um, so what I will do next is kill someone. Uh, something when it's done. Some maybe if I'm lucky. Uh, and something legal uh, here is a ridge I'm going to stone this one with the ceramic stone that way to remove the edges so it breaks over so I can feel the edges on top if I file this first I can file that but it you have to get rid of the burrs um, 
I don't dare to round it, round it before I test it. And this piece I haven't done anything with. I'm just going to barely shine it a little bit on the ceramic stone, mount it, dry, see what happens. I come back again and again to the Marlin owner's site. Um, Swanee is a smart guy and he had on let's call it an article about triggers and he stoned these surfaces but he told you if you had if this is a stone this is very fine uh, you could take the trigger like this then it's pointing this way like this find the flat file it then cock it a little forward and file it flat uh, I can draw it if you want uh, what happens then is this is how it is mounted in the gun this goes into we take it in broad daylight it goes like this when it comes it comes like in a sweeping motion so when this angle tends to lift the hammer, a little the positive thing I talked about, when you cock it, you change the angle. So it doesn't lift the hammer as much. But there is chances being you go negative, push it away for you. Uh, you have to have it locked, then it's safe. Uh, but he knows what he's doing, so he's correct he's a knowledge but yeah you know he knows what he's talking about and I like that uh, so that's basically what he did as he did it for that reason I think um, so I'm just clean it this is stone I just clean it back in gun look what happens why can't I do it fast I bother you for hours and hours I can do this in half an hour and show everything but no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. After I blew it, I've done this 15, 20 times. I'm going to feel my trigger. It is completely dry. I washed it in hot, soapy water, dry it on the oven, and blew it so there is no lube whatsoever. It's very. Uh, effective to get all the grit of all the parts you shouldn't try triggers dry now it's to make a wear pattern okay I can feel a little creep I can feel a little but it's because it's dry um, I can feel a little not creep but to put the ridges of resistance um, but it's better than it was before and no leg bend uh, I can for sure see that the hammer is not coming back it's not cocking back and an interesting thing is if I just pull the trigger just a little bit release it the sear is resting in the full cock notch almost halfway see if I do like this you can hear it snaps back so it's not negative then it has pushed the hammer down and we re release the trigger so I'm satisfied with that we can do one more time a little bit comes back a little bit more like that that's a dot almost snaps over go back to place it doesn't come over I like that. I would like to live with that in a looped trigger. Maybe take this spring and go try to balance it more. This is, this is a safe trigger. Uh, but we have to see what the weight is. Yesterday I told you foot pounds and pounds. I don't know what I said. But it breaks at 4.5, one and a half pounds I told you. Uh, that is not correct if it was 4.5 it was sometimes 4.8 or something but there is 16 ounces to a pound so when it's three and a half pound or four and a half pound it's supposed to be 3.8 
So I'm used to the metric system. Half is a half, but here the half is eight. Let's see. Final round. Final round. Okay, you're approximately three pounds.